This is my Gorton 8.5D. It's, um, motors are stamped. as if they've been changed to uh, 440. Yeah, you can see the stamp there. And uh, the same thing on the, the feed motor down here. Uh, you can see the, the motor winding company sticker there. Give you a tour of the machine. Uh, it was a, a metal shop machine, I'm assuming, since I uh, got the Cedar Rapids Community School sticker on it. Um, really cool machine. It's got these. Uh, it's got these uh, dovetails that the this motor mount rides on, and you adjust it with this hand wheel, um, which is which is pretty cool. Um, step pulleys, so you got um, quite a bit of, of adjustment. Yeah, there we go. The, um, the screws are a bit worn. But, um, I mean, not too bad. They're not, they're not terrible. Overall, the machine is in pretty good shape. I have a um, static phase converter on it. Um, the previous owner put that in and it's kind of a tight fit around here. It's an Anderson Anderson converter. Um, it works all right. Um, the uh, the motors run kind of rough and occasionally the feed motor will um, will trip the uh, motor starter. Um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure why, but if um, if it is wired to 440 and I'm trying to run it on 220 and on a phase converter at that, static phase converter, then that might make sense um, as to why it's as to why it's tripping. So, um, yeah, the head's that's pretty cool. I've seen different styles of heads on these eight and a half D's. Um, this one is um, this is a non uh, power down power down feed. Um, although it it seems like you you'd have um, you'd be able to um, you know make that happen if I had the um, if I had an old machine that. That I could uh, cannibalize, but um, I got it on these uh, two by fours down there because it's it gives it a bit a bit more height, which is nice. And yeah, I guess I could um, show you the the static feed uh, and the way that works. I um. Spin up, and off she goes. And then once that's running, I can cut on the feed motor, and I've got uh, got to think what I'm doing here because I'm right at the end of the table, and I don't have any, um, I don't have the dogs to. Um, to, to the, uh, I don't know what they're called, 
the dogs basically to trip this uh, directional feed handle. Um, I don't want to have to replace shear pins, but so yeah, that um, see, I'm I don't really know what I'm doing here, but um, I've got a scrap piece of aluminum that I was trying to face. Uh, didn't do such a good job on it, uh, mainly because of the clamping. Uh, the spots where I actually had it clamped down, it's it's really nice, but um, didn't really do the best job at that. I'm still learning. So that's that. Um, so that runs well. I love this machine. Um, picked it up for 500 bucks. Um, had to replace the, the spindle on it. That's a spindle off of uh, um, another another owner's machine who was parting out his his Gorton 8.5D. Uh, that's that's the old spindle there. Um, it's got brown and sharp number nine taper. Uh, could have converted it to R8, but decided just to stick with the brown and sharp. You can find tool in for them. And that's that. Oh, I guess I could uh, I could add that in order to move the machine, um, I actually removed the head. Um, you can see that the, the dovetail, uh, you can run the, the head straight off the end of the machine. Uh, it's all adjustable. Uh, the, the head is adjustable. You can, you can push it out or bring it back in. But in order to, to move the machine, I was just using a very small trailer. Um, so you just uh, uh, loosen up a couple screws at the bottom and then crank this pinion. Uh, loosen up the screws all the way actually and then you kind of have to bump the head over top of the end the, the pinion gear has to basically bump over top of the end of the uh, of the rack um, and that threw me for a loop because I didn't I couldn't find um, uh, schematics to figure out what was under there and I was trying to figure it out by feel um, but once once we had that, you know, we were just able to just slide it all the way off uh, and support it, and that made it the that made the machine a lot more manageable to move. Yeah, just let me know if you have any questions or want to see any other uh, parts of the machine.